is if you read down here, what does it say? It says F2 for X offset to center line. So drills and reamers and all of those, those are easy to set. All you do is just push the F2 button. And what that does, that's the exact center of the chuck. So you don't even have to worry about trying to figure out what the center is. The machine does it for you. Just push that one button. So now when it comes to drills, reamers, and counter sinks and things like that, the only thing you have to set yourself is the Z. That applies to tool one. What were the tool numbers again? Uh, on our turret? Oh, uh, one through nine. Is one through ten. We have drill holders in... Oh, yeah. Well, see, these particular ones, you can put them in any one of those positions. Oh. You, just, you just take these bolts out. See, that. okay, see this See this lathe tool here? Yeah. You just take that lathe tool out, and, and if you have another one of these, you just put it up in there. Okay, so you need a, a drill-type holder. Right. Anything, any holder that looks like this that has the center hole in it, Okay. you can do that. Okay. What a boring bar? Bar be classified as one of those? No, you don't center that. That's be. No, what is that? What type is this one? Well, yes, you can put the boring bar, but you cannot use the F2 no. because that's not that's not the center. Okay. Yeah. Because you're cutting off the edge of here. So with the boring bar, you would have to do the same thing what we just did on the outside, but you go, you have a hole in the center. You get this tool. You go on the inside of the hole, and you. You touch until it barely touches, you know, see, see some material move off, and then you do the same thing with the X. Will it ask you the ID of the hole that you're setting off of? Like you did, like, you know, yes, like it, the Yeah, right. It asks you uh, the diameter, which you, what size that, that is. Mm -hmm. Say if uh, you use a uh, half inch, you no, know, let's say a one inch drill. Okay. You put a one inch drill hole in there, and it asks you what size is that hole, you just put in one inch. So now it knows, okay, now it tell it that that's one inch, and now it knows where the center is. Right. And then when it reads the program, it knows how far to go in and, and out to make your, uh, your, uh, your inside of your hole. Yes. Now, let's, I'm gonna move my, over to my Z, and, oh, it would, it would help if I put it real in here. to drills and reamers, um, I don't turn the spindle on. What you can do is you can get like a piece of paper or like over here on the mills you got like that one inch block. You can even use that if you want to. But what I used to do is just because drills are not coming nice and easy. Slow it down. Okay, see, right here, like us. Well, take a break. <laughs> Hello? Yes. Oh, yes, okay. I'm, 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 we're here waiting on you. Oh, in front of the T1? Oh, okay. Hold on, you guys. Big five. Yeah. How old is that? You 
I lied. <laughs> I'm old. But like I say, you can use a piece of paper or, you know, I, I prefer to use the paper. It's only like 3000 And with, when it comes to grills, reamers at the Z length, offset length, I'm not worried about that. That's unimportant. So it's simply, again, you push your, uh, your Z face measure and it puts it in there for you. I mean, there's other aspects to like radius, taper, and tip, but that's another lengthy discussion. Right. You know, that's a little bit more involved. But this is just a simple, basic way that you set up, I say, the majority of your NC lathes. And once again, you know, let's, let's back it out. So positive, Z positive brings the turret away from the workpiece, or away from the chuck, right? Yeah, this, this direction is positive, this direction is negative. Matter of fact, I thought it was a chart. All uh, right, maybe, no? There's some charts in here. That's for the hydraulics, I believe. Oh. Well, it might be a good idea. Maybe you can draw yourself up a little chart. I mean, for let's wait, put Z go negative and positive, and have it right here in front of you so you know which way to turn this. And positive is always positive, and negative is always negative. So clockwise and hand <laughs> dial for positive, counterclockwise. Yes. Don't try to put too much thought into it. You know, it, that's, it says what it is. You know, the same thing with over on the mills. A lot of people get confused because they're looking at the table moving. What you should say to yourself when you look at the spindle, which direction you want the spindle to move. If you want to say, well, I want the spindle to move in that direction positive, you just simply want to get positive. <laughs> That's it, you know. So let's uh, move this up out of the way. And one little safety tidbit, you never want to turn the turret when it's not in the home position. You always put the turret back in the home position before you turn it, always. Some machines, I think some machines have a a safety um, override in it. If it's not in the home position, it won't turn. I don't know if Hawes is like. I think Hawes doesn't have that. Yeah, how you doing? Let's get hold this. All right. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's how you set it up. Okay, I'm, guys, take ten minutes because he's going to go ahead and put the probe on for us. And then the next part of it, we'll go ahead and watch the program run. Since we got the tools set up, but that's the most important part right there, is setting up the tools. Okay. So since we've been through that, the next thing is just simply just to watch the program run itself, which I want you guys to see. Okay. I'm just hoping people have common sense to know <laughs> Well, here's the little... Did you get a probe? I pull out and just make me maybe an aluminum little L-bracket, put a hole in it, just bolt it off. So that was, you know, the ones where here's a wiring? Yeah. Oh, okay. is Jack still around? Yeah, he's upstairs. Yeah, he's upstairs. Because I said those are... Yeah. The oh, you know? Wow. About 12 years ago or something. Yeah. That's when the last Little Brothers sold yeah. it out. Oh, brother. And after they sold it, it went to a big company. Yeah. And a big company. Is it a piece of crop that bought the truck at the bottom? Or was it just, just uh, getting close to it? Right. Getting close to it. And they didn't take care of the service.